Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and we're here at EBA Day in Amsterdam. And today I'm speaking to Eric Tack of ING, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Payment Services Directive 2, the PSD2. So, of course, many in the industry uh, know a lot about the, the first PSD. Um, so what is different, uh, what can we expect to be different from the PSD2? Uh, I think the PSD2 uh, addresses uh, a number of issues, some smaller issues which were not addressed properly in the PSD1 and which we found out later. Uh, it's always those unintended consequences of regulation. Yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, so you always see, and it was always intended to be reviewed after a few years, so you see a few minor things which is basically polishing up uh, what wasn't done uh, properly the first time uh, around. Uh, but I think more importantly, uh, I think the, what attracted most attention is actually uh, what has become known as access to the account, allowing third parties to either for payment in initiation purposes or for account information services to be able and to be allowed to uh, access uh, accounts which are held with banks. Uh, but at the same time also, and that was also something which wasn't addressed in the first PSD, uh, making sure that these parties who may not be physically in the payments chain will be regulated similarly to payment institutions that were regulated under PSD1. So would that mean that sort of banks could offer sort of a mobile payment service where they could pay someone who has a, 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 an account with a different bank? Is that one of the things it's going to address? The idea is that any so-called trusted third party which would be regulated could offer services whereby they ask access to the bank of their customer uh, regardless of which bank it is right so um, how will the PS the PSD2 be implemented then well that's uh, I think it's a bit too early uh, to say how it will be implemented but I think the general consensus is that banks will be working uh, to develop API's to allow third parties to access them. The APIs and uh, the way that uh, access to the bank account uh, should be possible will be defined by EBA, not this EBA where we are at IBA Day, but uh, the European Banking Authority. But generally the uh, accepted wisdom for now is that APIs uh, would be uh, the way to uh, allow that access. Are there any anticipated sort of compliance or technical challenges that people are looking at? Well, one of the, uh, the big discussions that is going on is uh, does this need to be one standardized API to be deployed by all the banks or can we expect all of the banks to develop their own APIs that these so-called TTPs will have to uh, work with? That's one question. The other question uh, still outstanding and which is, I think uh, has uh, dominated the headlines of the PSD2 is to what extent can uh, user credentials that people have, consumers have with their bank today be reused uh, to actually allow third parties to access the bank on their behalf. So are banks sort of really anticipating and starting to build services based on the upcoming PSD2 then? Well that's a, that's a very good question because uh, a lot of the expectation was that actually non-banks would be uh, the only ones to enter the space and to be allowed and uh, would be able to uh, benefit from that but you're right. I think also banks themselves can benefit from offering services to a much wider community of consumers than just the ones which currently have accounts with themselves but could also be uh, account holders of other banks. Mm -hmm. So it's like opening up that competition to yes, new Yes, it's entrants. that competition and it's also a way of creating a more reach for payment products. Eh? As we've seen over the past few days here, there's a lot of good ideas about payment products uh, but typically as e-commerce Europe has stated over the conference, they're either uh, have a great reach, but they do, they're not very user-friendly, traditional card products for instance, or they're very innovative, very user-friendly, but they don't have the reach. And typically, uh, the way that banks have responded to creating reach is by building a scheme, a payment scheme, a card scheme. Uh, but with the arrival of the PSD2 and with the arrival of the account access, maybe we don't need that anymore.